Hello and welcome to uh, this recording of a replay. Um, so this is between myself and Geraldo Gamer Seven. We're on one team. It's two v two, and we're up against Dreadful Bubbles. And can't remember the other guy's name, but I'll let you know at the end of the battle. Okay, so I'm playing as the Empire. Geraldo Gamer. Seven is plain as the vampire counts. Whoa, artillery coming in straight away from the dwarf player. If I recall rightly, he's got an awful lot. So we're up against Chaos and the dwarves. The dwarves have got a gyro bomber. One, two, three good throwers and a flame cannon. And oh, my word, they are destroying my handgunners. It was at this point I realised I had to advance. He's formed a box here. With one, two, three, four, five, six long beards. There's another long beard there. And he's got Ungrim, Iron Fist, and the Master Engineer. So he's, he's really concentrating on that artillery to take us out. But general. Coming over, it's not, it's not much to threaten him over here. To be fair, so it's quite safe coming. Uh, the chaos player, he's got chaos spawn, two units of chaos warhounds, chaos warriors, halberdiers, three units of forsaken, two exalted heroes, Prince Sigvald the Magnificent. Let's have a look at this model. He is a model of a man, and um. One, two, two Chaos Warriors, one chosen. So, this artillery coming in, pounding away. I knew I had to get up in front. Feral Manticore brought in as well. And Geraldo, he's got the Devil's Schwarzhafen, a regiment of renowned Vargeist unit, and three Fell Bats. He's also got unit Dire Walls. Two units of Cryptoras and a Banshee. So what I figured was get my general in, kill something to route quick, get out. Lingered too long, which meant that I was taking a bit of damage. Not too much, but I shouldn't be taking any. A bit silly of me. Here's a gyro bomber. Um, my handgun has had a shot at it, damaged it, which is good. I'm gonna come back. I've also got a hat, Amber Wizard. Two units Spearman. And then the rest is four units Great Sword and Sigmar Sons. Now, Araldo, the rest of Araldo's army. Oh, yeah, Araldo went in to try and rescue my general here, so risking his flyers a bit there. But we, we've we out of the Chaos Warhounds. But this should be now, I think, where Araldo should be getting out of Dodge City. And his main line, so we, we mentioned the Banshee, he's got one, two zombies there. The Feast is in the Dusk, uh, Regiment of Renown, Crip Ghouls. Another zombie unit, the Sternsman. Claw of Nagash, great unit that one. Skeleton Warriors, Heinrich Kemley, you don't often see him as a general. Zombies, the Common Stein Stalkers, the Skeleton Warriors. And two skeleton warriors there. So again, this artillery has pretty much destroyed my weaker units. But I've still got my strongest all intact. Nearly all intact. The one that's been damaged probably by the bomber. And over here. It's uh, not gone great for us. So we've lost most of our flyers. I'm foolishly sending my general in again, no need for that. Don't want these units to come in and, and damage my boss. <clears throat> so I should have been pushing up here and I, I think my ally also, because we've taken damage for no reason over there. We have got the flyers and that was a good move by Geraldo getting in on the uh, Jarrow Bomber. And also getting in on the flame cam because that's a dangerous unit. But we want to see the gyro bomber mounting off the field. Uh, 
Now I'm getting some shots finally on them, these units. So Ronaldo again, coming in with a couple of units. We need the, the rest of our armies really to come up and um, do the damage. Just to support. What's that gyro bomber? It's broken. I'm getting some nice shots here on the Longbeards. Why not? Yes, my As well injure them. So finally I decided enough's enough. A little too late to be honest, but... Hopefully the Devil's got out. Can't be cool. I, I went for a, a charge on them. Um, Master Engineer with my Manticore. Over here, I'm out of the crypt. I was uh, doing my thing. I was in some nice damage. Let that chaos spawn off the field if possible. And yeah, Rando is going to come up soon. Start engaging the lines. And we are losing the Devil of Schwarzhaven to the crumbling effect. It would be nice if they could rally. So I'd, I'd pulled off from the battle with the Master Engineer. But he's been damaged. Some magic going in which we don't like. Well, it's not our spells. No, I think it is our spells. I'm not sure what's been them. Um, the Curse of Years cast by Henry Kimmler. So that's great. That's going to... Cause a weakening of melee attack, weakening of speed. My lines have engaged sets now. The great swords are in battle, which is what we wanted. Up against Chaos Spawns, Forsaken. Another unit of Forsaken there. And then my uh, demographs coming the long way around. And Heraldo, he's, 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 he's done it in two waves. So his first wave is about to engage Chaos now. <laughs> it's a tough nut to crack, so my griffins are behind their lines. I definitely think we could have done this better, but you'll see what I mean when I say it made for a great battle. And then go the uh, Skeleton Warriors of Heraldo on Chaos' Exalted Heroes. Get those zombies in as well. Here come his, his last wave. And, yep, my griffins going in the rear of these Chaos Warriors. And forsaken. Don't want them hanging about. If we don't have to. Shot! Nice if we could route them. Seeking enemy. No! Withdraw! For the Emperor. Yeah. That's the uh, chaos warriors. Look like they're going. And the claw of Nagash doing its helping to bind the troops and damage the enemy units as well. But this whole area will be getting a boost from that fellow. And the dwarves still looking pretty solid. They've got most of their units intact. That's very. I see that long beard units have barely been touched. One barely damaged. But we got we got some strong vampire counts come in yet. Have a good charge by the Demogriff Knights into the rear. Prince Sigvald the Magnificent. 
Hopefully we'll get that forsaken unit to route. Want those chaos warriors to be cleared and let's come back. Likewise here, the Manticore is trying to scare these chaos warriors away. Nice work by the general, just destroying one of the flame cannons. Oh, he just tore, took him up off the ground. And a second flame cannon destroyed. In the name of the twin-tailed comet. Let's charge on the master engineer. Nice game gone. Now then, that unit is shattered, so no need to keep chasing him. Demogress doing their job. And slowly but surely, Chaos and Dwarves are getting whittled down. Got units recovering here. Need to get them back in. Still got a couple of zombie units there. Around though, we'll be wanting to move forward soon. With each unit we can route we can chase off, that we can shatter. There's another unit that we don't have to contend with. And they're out there doing great work here with the uh, Lord of Nagash. It's just boosting this whole fight where he's got these troops in. And the longer he can keep these troops fighting and healing, just the better it will be for our army. Just the one chaos spawn there, which we uh, will not want to uh, be about. My man's call looks like going in for it. Yep, that took care of that. And that's um, Master Engineer still causing a spot of bother for our troops. All of his um, war machines are now out of ammo. But they're still dwarves. And dwarves are not to be treated lightly. Oh, look at this blob now. So my great sword's pretty much dead. We're relying on um, the feasters in the dusk and that unit of zombies just to hold this whole oh, a couple more zombie units, but they've got to hold this whole Dwarven army. So I do think um, the Dwarf player could have done a lot better there. He could have enveloped our armies, which would have made it really difficult. Although we're not going to break. They are zombies, but it just made his troops more efficient. And now, I think Kemler, still looking healthy. The claw and the gash there. And it's the Sternsmen They're doing a wonderful job and uh, great work by Heraldo just to keep them in, in that heart of battle. We're keeping those Chaos units tied up. So, this to be won though, we've got we've to gotta route this mass of Dwarves. It's the only way to do it in, in, in terms of sheer manpower. The full unit skeleton warriors on its way back to the battle. There. And the enemy won't be delighted to see that. But we are struggling. So the zombies are crumbling. Um, Heinrich Hemless getting caught against a melee guy, which is not what we want. Yes, my lord. Those chaos units have finally come back. Looks like um, Heraldo's going to try and hold them off Whoa! and hope that we can rout a free few of these uh, units here. Reinhardt gets out there on the mortis engine, does a bit of damage. Here comes the Manticore to cause a little bit more fear. 
As many of these units around him as possible. Another exalted hero still alive, that's bad news for us. Why and somewhere near, on Grim Iron Fist, is living and breathing. Get out of there, Grim, we need you alive! Hoping to shatter these long beards. And Sid Val was good, there's some speed there. So. Let's try desperately to take out Thor of Nagash. It's my general. Try and take that um, exalted hero out because I really don't want him to recover. Oh, that killed him. So, uh, I, I, I'm going to lose that great sword unit, which is not too bad. Uh, still got my general alive. Uh, out of Griff Griffites and my man's core, but my man's core's overextended him. I'm about to lose my man's core. Prince Sigvald, it's still very... Oh, and we've just lost Einrich Kimler in this battle. We need that Mortis helmet. Helmet? The Mortis engine to not crumble. Oh! I thought the manticore was dead, but it's still there. Sigma! That manticore can take out Exalted Hero. Those skeletons are on the way back. A nice amount of damage on Ungrim. Sigma! Break it! It will be done! And there we go, Lord Salangin is back with his buddy. Prepare for combat! Battle awaits! Charge! And I'm hoping the Manticore can take out the Exalt anyway. I'm about to lose the Griffites. The unit of um, no Griffs coming in. My well, general's in trouble now. That is not what Take we the wanted. Man. There we go, he routes. Yes, sir, quickie! Take the ground! Here come the skeletons, but we're about to lose the mortis engine now, which is a disaster. This explosion did not do as much damage as we would have hoped. The manticore took out the exalted hero. And it routes, I think. Did it route? Uh, we just lost the manticore, I think. Griffin's come in the back. We are down to... A very small unit of longbeard. Ungrim Iron Fist. Prince Sigvald the Magnuson. A unit of skeleton warriors. And my general of the Empire. That is all we've got left. So shattered the longbeard. So it's the unit of skeleton warriors, the general of the empire, Ungrim Iron Fist, and Prince Sigvald the Magnificent. So, Araldo's unit, however, of skeleton warriors is crumbling. And look at the low elf on all three generals. The one bonus we've got is 
This griffin causes terror and it can fly. So it can keep doing these charges. But with there being two of them, each time I get a charge, the other one gets a few hits. Now if that unit skeleton falls apart, there's a stronger chance that we will lose my general to fear. He will rout. Her outlaw is just luring the dwarf general away. And <laughs> I miss with my charge. To get a second charge in. And the skeleton's gone in now. Just to uh, try and cause a bit more damage. Down I come. Really that close. The skeleton is getting a few more hits in on the, uh, the enemy generals. And that was it. Wow, what a battle. What a battle. Um, so it was myself, Geraldo Gamer 7. Lovely guy, by the way. If you get the chance, play alongside him. Dreadful Bubbles and Christopher Rask playing as the dwarves. Superb battle. Well done to everyone. Thank you for watching.